We'd like to take a minute and remember just a few people that we lost in 2013. Resilience, our ability to endure, to survive, is incredible. The human capacity to withstand incredible hardship is amazing. But more amazing is those who do it with grace, with gratitude, with the ability to find the blessing in even the most tragic circumstances. I was humbled and amazed by a story in the news the last couple of days that illustrates just that. A couple of weeks ago, a student with a grudge against a debate coach at Arapahoe High School in Colorado, attempting to shoot him, ended up shooting a fellow student and then turned the gun on himself, killing himself. Claire Davis, the 17-year-old senior from Arapahoe High School who was shot, passed away after eight days in critical condition. The death of a child is often described as the greatest uh, pain a person can go through. Yet when faced with that level of pain, her parents said something amazing. Although we have lost our precious daughter, we will always be grateful for the indelible journey that she took us on over the past 17 years. We were truly blessed to be Claire's parents. The grace, laughter, and light she brought to this world will not be extinguished by her death. To the contrary, it will only get stronger. They found something to be thankful for the 17 years they did have with their daughter. If they can find such a blessing in such a traumatic event, we should be able to bring and find some blessings every day in our lives. In the Psalm of Life, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow wrote, Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Footprints that perhaps another sailing o'er lives solemn main, a forlorn and shipwrecked brother, seeing shall take heart again. Let us then be up and doing with a heart for any fate, still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. I have faith that eventually, because of the hard work that you've put in and your unwavering commitment to values, we're gonna see a lot of really good things in 2014. And my hope is that the pain will be minimal and that 2014 will bring America a rebirth based on faith and constitutional protections of self-determination. And that we will all know that certain inner peace, that inner peace that apparently Claire Davis's parents have in face of such tragedy. God bless you and have a happy new year.